Hey guys, Kevin here. You're with the Modern Creatures and welcome to another video. Last week, we've shown you the unboxing to the Realme 8 Pro, which by the way, you can still watch somewhere right here. And from that video, we've seen how promising this device could be, especially its 108 megapixel camera setup, which received the most update as compared to last year's 7 Pro. Well, today it's been officially launched here in the Philippines and we're also ready to share our thoughts with you. So with an affordable price tag, an immersive display, and capable camera hardware, is the Realme 8 Pro for you? Stick around and find out. But again, just a quick one, subscribe to our YouTube channel because there will be more coming. Looking at its back panel, its first noticeable trait is its flashy, glittery design and is part of the company's Infinity Bolt design approach. It sports a textured metallic finish in matte, making it resistant to smudges. Then there are these big bold letters that read Dare to Leap, traversing the whole length of its back panel. Again, all part of the company's bold design for the Realme 8 Pro. The overall aesthetic of the Realme 8 Pro is obviously aimed at the young, trendy, and adventurous market. The model we had came in infinite blue, but there's infinite black as well. Inspecting the overall design, we notice the quad camera panel protrudes quite a bit while the camera lenses stick out even more, making it prone to scratches so you might want to consider protecting it with a good case. The volume rocker and power button are placed comfortably at the right at thumb's reach while the dual SIM and micro SD tray can be found at the opposite side. At the bottom, you will find a 3.5mm audio jack, a pinhole for microphone, USB Type-C port, and the loudspeaker, while on top, you will find another microphone. Overall, we found the design to be trendy and eye-catching. It's light and slim, making it easy on the hands as well as in the pockets. The Realme 8 Pro boasts a 6.4-inch Super AMOLED display. It carries impressive features like a 2400 by 1800 Full HD screen, a refresh rate of 60Hz and up to 180Hz touch sampling rate to allow a better touch response. Its display also features sunlight mode, giving you up to 1000 nits to ensure visibility in direct harsh sunlight. Another upgrade is the new in-display fingerprint sensor and the placement makes it efficient and more natural to the touch. However, we find it to be less sensitive and at times, we found the phone to be hard to unlock. It features a punch hole type front camera maximizing the full vibrant AMOLED display, but more on the cameras later. The speaker is a bit of a downgrade though from the 7 Pro as we now get a single speaker setup instead of stereo. Maybe not a big deal for some, but it's worth mentioning. Although the lone speaker grill is still loud and clear and supports high-res audio. Watching videos are undoubtedly more engaging in that crisp Full HD AMOLED display. With vibrant colors and deep blacks and a battery claim that can last for up to 20 hours of video streaming. That's like continuously watching a two-season show on Netflix. The Realme 8 Pro's biggest selling point and main upgrade is its camera setup. Now equipped with Samsung's industry-leading HM2 sensor, this pocket-sized device is packed with one heck of a powerful imaging system. Its quad camera setup includes a 108-megapixel main camera armed with a new extra-large sensor. And we all know that larger sensors produce better photo quality and can make all the difference. It also features an 8-megapixel ultra-wide-angle lens, a 2-megapixel black-and-white portrait lens for bokeh, depth mapping, and better color contrast, and lastly, a 2-megapixel macro lens. We found the camera interface to be user-friendly and with a convenient layout. Exploring its different shooting modes, the Realme 8 Pro has several firsts for the brand, like the new Tilt Shift mode and new Super Nightscape, along with Realme's familiar shooting modes that add fun to phone photography. Putting the camera and its features to the test, we were impressed with improved AI scene recognition. Instantly and accurately recognizing a scene, it can turn any amateur photographer to produce almost professional-like results. Its colors and contrast also pop out with AI Chroma Boost feature. No filters needed. Thanks to the larger sensor and f1.8 aperture, we also notice a natural shallow depth of field for closer subjects without having to turn on the bokeh mode, giving you the true prime lens look. The 108 megapixel sensor has enough detail for its 3 times digital zoom at 12 megapixel without losing quality. But once you go to 5 times zoom, the texture can start to get a bit muddy. Its ultra wide angle lens also performed well with decent dynamic range that we found helpful for landscape and architectural photography. And if you want to bump things up a notch, turn on HDR mode and watch shadows and highlight details come alive. Low light performance is also remarkable with AI controlled noise reduction. 
colors are still vibrant but texture is a bit lost. Switching to ultra wide angle in low light, quality is noticeably lower due to its smaller sensor and f2.25 aperture. But don't fret if you cannot get that low light detail as switching to Super Nightscape with AI and Pro options by the way allows you to produce professional looking low light images with cleaner, brighter, more vivid colors while keeping textures intact. It's also equipped with a starry mode which we were able to play around with and boy was it fun. It was able to capture vivid detail in extreme dark conditions bringing night scenes to life. And its added feature, the tilt shift mode for photo and video, will make regular subjects look miniature, adding a bit of fun to ordinary scenes. Meanwhile, the fixed focus 2 megapixel macro lens produced okay photos, but you're better off using the primary camera with 3x digital zoom for far better photo quality. In portrait mode, the shallow depth of field looks natural and it does a good job of isolating the subject down to its details like hair strands. But if you're the type who likes to edit and enhance their photos, a not so common feature on a mid-range phone such as this one is RAW format. Along with full manual control, it is sure to put a smile on serious photographers' faces. RAW format bitrate count was not disclosed but with the detail we're seeing here, we're guessing it's around 12 bit. Our test shots revealed an incredible amount of dynamic range, pulling out detail even with scenes that are against the light. Impressive. This underrated camera feature will certainly turn this phone into a professional level tool with almost DSLR-like quality. It captures even more color and light data resulting in stunning detail compared to your usual 8-bit JPEG. Flipping to the front cam, this 16 megapixel sensor performed remarkably well too. Let AI take over your selfie and you're sure to be looking your best. An integrated selfie retouch in portrait mode ensures your perfect look through specific feature adjustments along with several selfie filters to choose from. Video tops out at 4K 30fps with the digital image stabilization system. However, 4K resolution only works for the primary lens in normal mode. Video quality is smooth and clear and has an array of special modes such as AI, tilt shift, stabilization max that switches to wide angle with less quality, and the new dual video that records using both front and rear cameras. Undoubtedly, the Realme 8 Pro has one of the best mid-range phone cameras around and is an ideal travel phone for casual shooting and vlogging. It's true that the Realme 8 Pro is inclined more on the camera quality rather than a high-performance gaming device, but this does not mean it lacks power and performance. At the heart of the 8 Pro runs a high-speed Qualcomm Snapdragon 720G and has 8GB of RAM with 128GB of storage. It also uses the latest Realme UI 2.0 based on Android 11 OS that is still very intuitive with not much unnecessary apps and is fast enough for your daily needs. Having used this phone on a daily basis, we didn't experience any noticeable lags, crashes, or hiccups. It is fast and reliable for everyday use with swift switching between apps. Playing today's games on decent graphics settings and performance proved this phone capable. It was stable and refined thanks to that upgraded 180Hz touch response and that Super AMOLED display, resulting in smoother and more enjoyable gaming. Battery capacity is at 4500 mAh and supports up to 50 watts of fast charging using its Super Dart technology. With it, the phone was able to top up from 0 to 100% in 47 minutes. During our time, battery life is maximized thanks to the low power consumption of its Snapdragon 720G processor and Super AMOLED display. We were easily able to last a whole day on a single charge. But apart from the already impressive battery life, there is a lineup of battery optimization modes to further extend battery life as well. You have super power saving mode, app quick freeze, screen battery optimization, and more. And as always in our reviews, the modern creatures aims to find special features and devices that make them worth having. A creature feature if you will, and for the Realme 8 Pro, it would definitely have to be its 108 megapixel quad camera setup. This set of optics was able to produce professional-like quality of images, and with its raw format, you're able to easily pull out details and therefore have better control over your photo when it comes to post-processing. The Realme 8 Pro is priced at 16,990 pesos for the 8GB RAM and 128GB storage variant. You can also avail of a 1,000 peso discount during the flash sale on Lazada starting May 12 at 12 midnight. There are a lot of other mid-range phones that offer more features than the Realme 8 Pro at a more affordable price. But the image quality on that 108 megapixel camera 
is already what sold this for us. So if camera quality is really important to you, then the Realme 8 Pro is what you might just need. And as added info, Realme already has 16 fully functioning service stores nationwide and 556 operating concept stores and kiosks. Just in case you have other concerns or if you want to make a physical purchase. And that was our Realme 8 Pro review. As always, visit our website and follow us on our social media pages for more news, features, and reviews. Once again, that's it for me. I'm Kevin. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.